Howdy everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do a sheet metal bent grill with a staggered hole pattern. Uh, what I created here was a simple, um, just a reference monitor, four inch speaker. I made it fairly small so we didn't have to wait for a lot of calculations for the holes when we make that pattern. And this is what I started with. Uh, this is a top down model so it's a single part and but everything else is broken out so you'll see how i built this as you're going through and that's all one piece the the cabinet itself but the grill i made it into an individual part so if i actually double click on that and then go down to the grill itself you'll see what i did is i did a projection project geometry and i did this edge all the way around and then i did an offset which is that command and I'm only going to do the sheet metal itself is going to be 05 so I would offset that but when you're done all it does is the offset it doesn't close it so you have to do a line and then do this and the other side when you're done you extrude that and for the distance I just use to this plane and made the grill itself at least the sheet metal that we're going to use and turn into a grill so from here, you would normally go to manage and then go to make components. I rename, I named these as I was going. So if you select this, you'll see the cabinet is one part and the grill is a separate part. When you say okay to that, it'll actually make an assembly, which will break these out since they're individual parts. Um, and then I, you will have a cabinet and the grill and that's where you would start. So if we jump over, this is what I was working with. I'm going to turn this off because of, this is just the, uh, the sample that I created. And this is the grill that came across. All right. So we have our two parts. So for here, I am going to select that, right click and go open. So I go into that part. I need to convert this into sheet metal to be able to have the functions I need. So on the far right corner, if you're under 3D model, you go all the way over here and it says convert to sheet metal. You pick that. From here, you want to set up your thickness, which is what you should do anytime you start a sheet metal part. So we're going to go up to sheet metal defaults. We have 05, so we're going to uncheck this so we can put in our own number. We're going to put in 05 and hit enter. So now we're sheet metal, we have the thickness. And normally if you have a sheet metal part, if you created it in sheet metal and you bent it up and did everything else, you can do an unfold pattern right here, create flat pattern. We don't want that. This is where it changes. We want to come over, since it was built this way, we want to come over to here and do unfold. And you get your dialog box. And what it's going to ask for is the first thing is your flat portion. And this is where everything is going to un unfold on that plane. So we're going to pick that. Now it's asking for the bends, which we're going to select these and you'll see it unbend everything. If it was also, if these were bent also, we would pick those edges and would flatten that as well. So this is as far as we need to go with this. So we'll say, okay. And there is our unfold. So from here, I am going to start and do my holes. So we're going to pick the lower corner. I've already calculated this for the size and width and how many holes I need. You would have to do that for yours. Um, you just have to figure out what size our pattern. So this is 125 for the hole. And I need to place this. And the height is going to be 0.1875. And our width is going to be 1985. And depending on how you're doing this, you would actually figure out how many across and calculate the width, divide that up so you know exactly, so you can keep an even pattern through here. Same thing for the, the vertical. So from there, I'm going to say OK. And then I'm going to cut. We'll zoom in on this so you can see it. If we do cut, it'll calculate through. And then we have our first hole. So from there, 
I want to do a, a pattern array. So I go up to rectangle and I will select my cut. And this is the first thing you do. You do direction. So I'm going to pick this. And if it needed to go the opposite direction, you just do a switch. So it's going that way. And for this, we're going to have um, 29 holes. And they are going to be the 0.125. And that is going to be times 2. So you're getting the spacing in between. So that's this. So now I need the other direction, which is the vertical. I'm going to pick, pick my direction. This particular one is 21. It's going to give you grief on this because it's trying to tell you there's so many holes and it's going to take longer to calculate. So for this, we have to do the same. Actually, I could just cut and paste that. It would just be just as easy. We have to do the same thing so I have perfect spacing. There we go. Now you'll see it not fill in the inside. It's just you're doing a representation of that. So when I do say OK to that, it will do the calculation. And there's your whole pattern. And that would look per perfectly fine. That's what you'll you'll see in most uh, whole patterns in Inventor. But this is not the typical grill that is kind of ugly. So it doesn't do me any good. So I'm going to put in a second one. So let's pick on the face and do the same thing. We're going to come down here in the corner and then we're going to do project. I'm going to pick this one and that one so I can right click, create a line between. So I have a nice even calculation. Select it all, right click, and then just make that into a construction line. And we're going to do the hole again, stretch, and it's going to be 125. That's all I need and it's locked in. So we're going to say OK to that. Zoom in there. Same thing. We're going to do a cut. Give it a second for it to figure out because there is a lot of holes and this is a lot of information. That's why I made a small one because if I did a normal uh, speaker that's two twelves and a horn and everything else, it could take five minutes for it to actually go through its calculation. So now I'm going to do the same thing as I did before, rectangle. I'm going to pick that cut. I am going to pick my direction. And I'm going to put in the same thing I had before, and I still have that in buffer. Yep. And this time it is going to be, instead of uh, 29, it's going to be 28. And you'll see on the far side, that it filled in right to that edge. Okay, and now I want to do the other direction. And I had 21 before. This time it's just going to be 20. Same thing, it's going to say this is a very large pattern. Are you sure? Um, yes, I do. So I'm going to paste that in there, the exact same thing. And you'll see, same thing, representation just enough because if it had to bring up the full pattern to show you for the preview, it would be ridiculous, not necessary. So we're going to go ahead and say OK to that. And there we go. We have our staggered whole pattern. And this is where it changes everything. So we will do refold. And I'm going to pick on this face. And then for the bends, it's going to calculate this. You can tell by the colors, it's changing and how it does a selection takes a little bit because it is trying to um, select a lot of information. And as I pick these, it's calculating it and doing the bends. Let's go ahead and say OK to that. Give it a second. There you go. And there's your grill. So then when I go back to here, this is the second one. The first one was here. That was a test. This is actually the grill that we just created. And that's how you actually make a staggered hole pattern and have it fold any kind of weird shape that you want to make. You can actually flatten it out and then wrap it back on once you have your holes in there. And then you have your grill. So you could send this off to a manufacturer as a flat pattern in your uh, layout and you have it made. Hope this was helpful. It was a quick one. And we'll see you in the next tutorial. Thank you very much.